Hello YouTube rink rats. I got a quick video for you today that is going to save you a lot of money potentially and also make your rink better. Let's talk about it. So I see a lot of rinks around or photos on the internet of rinks. The ice looks great, they use a tarp and they obviously use a tarp because there's this white tarp hanging over the boards all the way around the rink. In theory, that's fine, but it's really expensive because what they generally will tell you is that you gotta replace this tarp every year. And that could be a couple hundred dollars or more, depends on the size of your rink, of course. But as you can see here, I've got no tarp hanging around my boards. And I think that's nice. And what else is nice is my tarp is not brand new. It's not two years old. It's three years old. And should last longer, I think. Knock on wood. So, let me show you how I do it. Alright, so it's pretty simple. What I've got here is, I believe it's 3H in thick plywood. Uh, cut into strips, so it's seven and seven eighths. That works out with the width of the saw blade being an eighth inch. You get six strips out of a four by eight sheet of plywood. Uh, Home Depot can cut it for you, which is what I did. So what I'm gonna do is uh, you have to take your clamps off or whatever's holding up your tarp. Take that off, and then all we're gonna do is put this on top of the tarp. Can you kind of show this here, Everett? Thank you. You're going to put it on top of the tarp and you're going to screw this to the plywood. Now the trick is just to fold the, the tarp down and then you're going to put the screw above the tarp and into the board. So that's going to hold the board in place and without putting any holes in your tarp. So pretty simple. And the taller your board is, the easier it's going to be. Uh, in parts of my rink here, some of the parts I don't have much space, so I have to like push the tarp down. But this section that I'm going to show you here, as you can see, we've got a lot of space. So if I just hold the tarp down like this, then you can stick your board in and try to get it as close to the ice as possible, even into the ice. Uh, what would be best is if you did this while you had still, while the just after you had filled it with water. I wouldn't do it before you're full with water, just in case the tarp stretches out or anything, but once it's full with water, it shouldn't be going anywhere. Then you can stick your boards in, and I would actually put them into the ice a little bit, or the water, just because that'll stop your scraper from going underneath the tarp, or underneath the um, dashboard and wrecking your tarp. So let's, let's get going here. And previous to this, I used OSD and it lasted It lasted two years kind of, but the second year it was not in good shape anymore. So this year, well, the plywood, I honestly don't know if it's going to work any better or not. So for my rig here, it took, it's going to take about 18 sheets and they were around 30 bucks each actually, the entire, or oh, people, sorry. So we're going to devote 100 bucks to tax, uh, but that's still a good price compared to buying a new tarp every year because, as you probably know, tarps are expensive. Alright, here's a screw. Alright, here we go. Boom! There's one. So I'm not going to put too many screws in. Um, it is good to get them pretty low if you can, just so that your dasher boards are sitting uh, perpendicular to the ground. If you put it too high, it might slope, which isn't ideal, but do whatever you can. Just make sure that you aren't hitting the tarp. Well, you're going to be sad when your tarp leaks next year. So, That's how you do the dasher boards. Just go along and do your whole ring. 
If your tarp is really oversized, you're probably going to have a problem with this method. So it works for me because I basically maximized the use of my tarp. At the end here, you can see I've got, I don't know, 16 inches of overhang. So there I will fold up the tarp and just to get it to a fit behind. But if, like here, I don't have too much, like less than a foot. So you fold it in half, lots of space, or you can roll it again and again if you need to. You just go around, your whole ring. I'm on the third year with this tarp, and it seems to be holding water just fine. I know, to be honest, last year, can you see my face? <laughs> my face is ugly anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, last year I put a hole in the tarp with an errant screw, but it must have been up high enough, no harm done. So yeah, year three of the tarp, it's still kicking just fine, and this should save you a lot of money, and just your rink looks better having this tarp over it. It's super tough. Your shovels aren't going to wreck it. Pucks bounce off it nice. Good luck. Hope this helped. And here she is all done. Would you look at that. Now obviously the way that this is, these top boards aren't super strong. They've only tacked like three boards in, I mean three screws in an eight foot section. You can put more in if you want. But it helps extend the height of my boards since my boards from the outside are only 12 inches high. Once you get like eight inch, inches of water in there, you don't have many, much board left. So doing it this way will give you a bit more board as well as long as you're taking it easy, crawling in or out of the rink and stuff. And in this section here, this is where I bring my snowblower in so I did not extend the boards up above. I do have it there, just not not poking up past because what I usually do is I will if I need to use my snowblower I just have a walk behind snowblower I will just set a a couple boards up here just lean it on the edge of the boards then I can drive right into the rink and then to get out I can there's the, it's low enough I can just drive up onto this and then onto my ramps and away I go